Hi there, this is a Russian system of combatives from Athens, Greece. I am Vasil Stamadiu, and in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, some ideas for training uh, figure eight patterns with the, uh, the use of uh, sticks and baseball bats. As you probably already know, the figure eight pattern or the infinity symbol, uh, if you prefer to call it that way, although we will uh, going to call it the figure eight pattern because we think it's uh, more appropriate. Um, it's a very dominant uh, movement pattern in most styles of Russian martial art. Once you master it, the figure eight pattern basically guarantees uh, a high level of flow between your uh, moves and also uh, guarantees the creation of uh, various angles. So it uh, adds a, a, you know, a high level of unpredictability to your uh, general fighting style. You must uh, keep in mind that with the use of tools and um, such as uh, baseball bats and sticks, uh, your movement, your figure eight movement, movements uh, become much more uh, efficient but biomechanically and much more ballistic. By the same token, sticks and bats literally force you to use your whole body and uh, so they enhance your uh, motor skills and uh, biomechanical efficiency in general, which is, as you can imagine, a very good thing. So we're going to start with a stick, uh, which is lighter and, uh, of course, easier to handle than the baseball bat, and we can see what we can do with it. You know, the movement is this. Just move it to the side uh, of your body, all right? And at first, you should probably use uh, more your, your, your arm, you know? Just move first your uh, shoulder after your elbow and finally your uh, wrist, okay? So this is the figure eight, you know, from outside goes to the inside. This is the pattern, outside to the inside, all right? As you see, I lead with my shoulder. Next thing uh, to try is to work with two sticks, which is basically uh, you, you do the same thing, you go know, back and forth, it goes like this. Once you feel comfortable working with double stick, you can speed up and uh, you know just feel it along the way how it goes because uh, speed is not something that you should necess necessarily seek. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it, it is good to be able to uh, maintain the same uh, uh, movement and quality of movement and flow even uh, at a very high speed. So you should try just for this purpose. Baseball bats are a different story. Uh, basically, they are bigger, they are heavier, and also they have their weight distributed in a quite uneven way. So you're gonna pretty soon find out that they are much more difficult to handle than the simple stick. At this point, I must say that I got the idea of training uh, with a baseball bat or two baseball bats from my good friend and teacher, Spiro Katsiyanis. Uh, who has a lot of original ideas for training. So the credit goes to him for the idea and also uh, uh, much of uh, the exercises uh, with the baseball bat come from his work and a few of them are mine. But uh, Spiro Katsiyanis is the guy I got uh, the idea from. So you should start, you know, the same way you just Start doing your figure eights and just feel the baseball bat. Uh, right from the beginning, you're gonna see it's a little bit different. It feels different, and of course. Uh, once you get comfortable with it, you just uh, go on and train with uh, two baseball bats. All right, the same thing.
you really pay attention to your uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist kind of uh, sequence, which is basically a wave, but you do it in a more controlled way and within the flow that you create, alternating back and forth the two baseball bats. All right? After you do some training, just with the back and forth kind of uh, figure eight movement, you can start adding a little bit to it. In that case, we could add a little bit of weight transfer and also uh, start to use our body. Another thing that uh, I do from time to time and I think it helps me uh, with my uh, fist fighting and boxing skills is uh, to, uh, after you establish, after I establish uh, this back and forth figure eight movement, every now and then I, drop, uh, I throw like a uh, one-two combination. Uh, if we were boxing it would be a one-two combination, it would be a uh, left-right explosion. Uh, you can do it of course with a uh, right-left as you wish, as you like, but every now and then, yeah, just you do, you know, like as we start adding uh, uh, some more complex elements to our previous uh, simple, more or less, figure eight patterns. Uh, we're going to explore a few ideas that uh, add, uh, if, you, if you wish, some tactical elements. So, from this kind of uh, standard back and forth motion, I'm just going to shift my weight to my, uh, as you see, my shoulder uh, drives towards the opposite foot. And from there, I'm going to... I'm going, I'm going to lower a little, just for a, for a second my weight and I'm going to explode. From here, I load and I throw. From here, you know, I load and I throw. Russian system of combatives, Athens, Greece. Thanks for watching.